are these two functions inverse functions? And the way that we're going to do this is we are going to take the composites and find if the f of g of x equals x and the g of f of x equals x, then we can say that they are inverses. So this is going to be a three-part process. The first part, we're going to find the f of g of x. OK, so we're going to take our f function, which is 8 over x minus 2, but we're going to plug in for the x. OK, and what goes in the x place? You see the g of x is now in the x place. So the g of x is what goes right there in the x place. So let's plug in the g of x right there. The g of x is 8 over x plus 2. 8 over x plus 2. All right, let's put it together. The numerator is just going to be 8. When you look at the denominator, we have 8 over x plus 2 minus 2. Plus 2 minus 2 will cancel out to be 0, so we have 8 over 8 over x. Okay, now this is a complex fraction, so you might need to go look up complex fractions, but really it's 8 divided by 8 over x. And to make this first part of fraction, I'm going to call it 8 over 1. It'll be easier to see that way. So 8 is the same as 8 over 1. 8 over 1 divided by 8 over x. All right, now how do I divide fractions? I don't. I take the first one and I multiply times the reciprocal of the second one. Okay, and now you can see that these 8s will cancel, reduce it multiplication. If you want to take it and write it like this, 8x over 8, to see that the 8s cancel, that's fine. And you're going to end up getting x. Okay, so they are looking like inverses. So that's the first part. The second part, part b, we need to find the g of f of x, which is different than the f of g of x. So let me put it right here. Part b is going to be the g of f of x. Okay, and now we take the g function, which is right here. And instead of x, we're going to plug in the f of x. So 8 over x plus 2, 8 over x plus 2. And what goes where the x was? The f of x, which is 8 over x minus 2. OK, so where your x was, we're going to be putting in the f of x, which goes right here where the x was. All right, let's put it in. 8 over x minus 2. I'll do it in blue. 8 over x minus 2. Okay, so once again we have a complex fraction here. 8 over 8 over x minus 2. 8 divided by 8 over x minus 2 plus 2. I'm going to call this 8 over 1 divided by 8 over x minus 2 plus 2, right? And that's going to make it easier to see how I divide fractions. And how do I divide fractions? I don't. I'm going to multiply the first one times the reciprocal of the second one. Okay, drop down the plus 2. And now we'll see that 8 over 8 reduces down to a 1. So we have x minus 2 plus 2, minus 2 plus 2, and 0. So we get x. OK, and if they both fit the criteria we listed up here, then they are inverse functions. f and g are 
inverse functions of each other. <laughs>